In my paper, I wish to compare the Bosniak minority in Slovenia with the Slovenian minority in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Their organizational patterns, cultural production within their ethnic cultural societies and associations, and their access to various financial resources, including those necessary for co-organizing lessons or courses of their mother tongues. The paper is based on extensive field work carried out between 2012 and 2014. A survey carried out among the Slovenian cultural societies in Bosnia and Herzegovina and a number of interviews of which two were particularly relevant for this paper with the secretary and the project's leader of the Bosniak Association of Slovenia Admir Baltic, and with the chair of the Association of Slovenian Societies in Bosnia and Herzegovina, Darko Mijatovic. Out of 150,000 Slovenian residents whose first residence was in other republics or states of the Yugoslav region and had moved to Slovenia by the last classical population census in 20, uh, 2002. The largest number, that is over 67,000 people, came from Bosnia and Herzegovina. Admir Baltic explains the 2002 Slovenian population census noted over 21,000 Bosniaks, more than 10,000 Muslims as an ethnical option and 8,000 Bosnians. A closer look at the same, at some additional characteristics of these three groups shows that we are dealing with, with very similar groups of population who share to a great extent their Bosnian Herzegovinian origin, the Bosnian language as their mother tongue and the Islam as their prevailing religion. On the basis of these common characteristics, it can be concluded that in the case of these three supposedly different ethnic groups, we are actually dealing with one nation, the nation that since 1993 has been officially called the Bosniaks. Before that, it was called the Muslims, and on the informal everyday level, especially in Slovenia, it was called the Bosnians, unquote. The number of the Slovenians in Bosnia and Herzegovina has been constantly decreasing since 1961. Today there are 1,100 declared Slovenians in Bosnia and Herzegovina, the lower table, and there are approximately 3,000 members of Slovenian ethnic cultural societies in this country here. On the other hand, there are 21,000 Bosniaks in Slovenia according to the last classical census, while only three to 4,000 of them are members of the Bosnia Cultural Societies in Slovenia, joined within the Bosniak Association of Slovenia. The much larger Islamic community of Slovenia also has a number of cultural societies, mostly women cultural societies, but my comparison now is not going to involve them because that would be an entirely different comparison based on the identity of both religious minorities, which I'm going to see to it that it will be done in the near future. In 2003, the Slovenians in Bosnia and Herzegovina obtained the status of an, a national minority, whereas the Bosniaks in Slovenia are still striving for the acknowledgement of such status. In 2003, they joined for this purpose with members of other Yugoslav nations in the associ association of the associations of cultural societies of the nations of the former Yugoslavia in Slovenia. Of the present Bosniak societies in Slovenia and Slovenian societies in Bosnia and Herzegovina, the earlier ones were formed at the time of the war in Bosnia and Herzegovina the rest of them in the new millennium. The early societies in both countries were formed to organize aid in war conditions, to help with the evacuation of a number of families from Bosnia and Herzegovina to Slovenia, and to take care of the refugees in Slovenia. After the war, 
The mission soon changed from humanitarian engagement to the preservation of language and ethnic cultural traditions. Both associations, the Bosniak and the Slovenian one, include the same number of member societies, nine each. In both cases, only one other cultural society exists in the country outside the association, other than those under the uh, Muslim association. Both associations have very similar uh, roles and more or less the same number of annual projects. Both ethnic societies, Slovenian and Bosniak, follow the same or organizational schemes and patterns, including their division into almost the same kinds of sections. The forms and ways in which they maintain their cultural traditions and mother tongue are virtually identical. And uh, <coughs> these are care for the society libraries and archives, celebration of national holidays, celebration of some religious holidays, ethno and folk music, traditional dances cultivated by folklore groups, national costumes, national dishes, traditional handcraft, and participation in the organization of language classes. Both associations of societies have their own website, which is occasionally inactive because they lack a qualified webmaster. Due to the same reason, there are only a few individual societies that have got their own homepage with a link to their online periodical. Only the larger societies on both sides publish their own newsletter, almanac or similar. These are usually the same societies that have got some experience with other publishing as well. All the societies have regular society meetings and picnics. Larger societies also organize various trips or visits to their mother country, and the smaller societies join them. The same applies to the celebration of national holidays. About one third of the societies in both cases also organize sports activities and other competitions. Three societies on each part have choruses, and the share of the societies that organize various exhibitions, lectures, and cultural artistic exchange is also similar on both sides. Both minorities have produced some regular radio programs of their own in the past, or they still produce them. The strong point of the Slovenian societies in Bosnia and Herzegovina is their choruses. And the strong point of the Bosniak societies in Slovenia is their folklore groups. The latter also have more drama groups than the former. Visual arts are more or less regularly performed in three Bosniak societies and in one Slovenian society in Tuzla, which has its own group of painters and which now hosts annual artists' colonies. Both the Bosniak and the Slovenian ethnic societies usually invite other Bosniak or Slovenian, respectively, societies to their events. Both minorities pay more and more attention to the inclusion of children and youth. In some Bosniak societies, for example, in the Jesenice Bisser, on the picture here, the share of the members aged between 5 and 25 is no less than 85%. The main difference is in the organization and funding of minority language classes. Slovenian Ministry, responsible for education, co-finances Slovenian language classes for young members of Slovenian communities abroad, including Slovenians in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Most of the teachers are sent from Slovenia. Owing to this fact, regular Slovenian language classes are organized in almost every city of Bosnia and Herzegovina where a Slovenian cultural society exists. In Slovenia, on the other hand, classes of Bosnian language are organized only in Ljubljana, Jesenice, and Velenje. They have been financed from the Swiss contribution, Norway grants, and the EEA grants. As opposed 
to Slovenian language classes in Bosnia and Herzegovina, the question of systematic organization and long-term funding of Bosnian language classes in Slovenia remains unanswered, in spite of the Bosnian and Herzegovinian promises contained in the agreement between the government of the Republic of Slovenia and the Council of Ministers of Bosnia and Herzegovina on the cooperation in culture, education and science signed in 1999. Thank you. As Slovenia and Bosnia and Herzegovina were parts of the same state for such a long time, first in Austria-Hungary, then in the Yugoslav Kingdom, and finally in the socialist Yugoslavia, it is not surprising that there are more similarities than differences between their minorities living in the other country. This is also the reason why a Slovenian feels more or less at home in Bosnia and Herzegovina, just as does a Bosniak in Slovenia, despite the fact that in both cases we are talking about ethnic, linguistic and religious minorities, which means that they both differ from the major majority society, at least in terms of three different parameters. The Slovenian cultural societies in the Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina have partly been co-financed by municipalities and by some cantons. For example, by the Ministry of Culture of the Canton of Sarajevo, occasionally also by the Zienica Doboj Canton. In the Republic of Srpska, they have also been co-financed by the municipalities and by the Ministry of Culture of the Republic of Srpska. The Bosnia cultural societies in Slovenia have been co-financed by their local municipalities as well as by the Slovenian Ministry in charge of culture and or by the Public Fund for Cultural Activities of the Republic of Slovenia. On the other hand, Slovenia's care for the Slovenian minority in Bosnia and Herzegovina has been much more substantial than the care of Bosnia and Herzegovina for the Bosniak minority in Slovenia. The activities of the Slovenian societies in Bosnia and Herzegovina have been largely co-financed by the Slovenian government office for Slovenians abroad, while the Slovenian ministry in charge of education has been co-financing, as already said, Slovenian language classes in, here in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Bosnia and Herzegovina, on the other hand, has been unable to offer this kind of support to the Bosniak minority in Slovenia. I believe Slovenia should acknowledge the minority status of the members of the nations of the former Yugoslavia in Slovenia, including the Bosniaks, and treat the public funding of their ethnic societies in the same way it treats the funding of cultural programs and infrastructure of the so-called autochthonous or traditional minorities named in the Slovenian constitutions, uh, constitution, that is the Italians and the Hungarians. I also believe that Bosnia and Herzegovina should, at least in a very modest degree, comply with the existing bilateral agreement with Slovenia on the reciprocal funding of each minority's mother tongue classes in the other country. The financial and the moral effect of these changes upon the Bosniaks in Slovenia would be favorable, and the burden and the benefits of the support intended to for one's own minority in the other country would be a bit more equally distributed between both countries. It will probably take a considerable period of time before these goals can be reached. But as first steps in this direction were made many years ago, it is time for some further steps now. Thank you very much.